Ypsilanti, 1982. In 36 years, I barely spared a word about my days in Ypsilanti, known chiefly for giving us Iggy Pop and an obscure pioneer in continental drift. I was watching the 9 o'clock news with my father in our living room, as was the family habit. I was nine, eating a baby roof in June when a picture of Vincent Chin flashed on screen with a discussion of murder, Japan, and motor cities. My father said not to take it personally. We were going to have a barbecue with our blue-collar neighbor on Saturday once he was done at the Ford factory. Our other neighbor, across the way, with her tall, bottle-blonde daughters, was a Baptist preacher, fond of discussing Pearl Harbor with me every other day because I couldn't tell him a thing about Laos.